this is something I've never said before, because, uh, 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 is that had Jake had the, the, the guts to do it, those albums since then should have been the Jake Burns band. Yeah, that's the music he likes, and fair play to him, I, that's no problem. That's his style of music, that's the music he wanted to write. But don't be putting the name stiff little fingers on it. Yeah, this is um, slightly different since it's, oh, you know. it, it's not, it's... But Jake did a few things on his own, he did the, the big wheel attempt. Yes. Which uh, was terrible. Well, and the big wheel to me is almost like the stuff he's been doing. Yeah, it's got a There's soul a connection to it. it. Yeah. yeah. And then he did the, uh, the, the Three Men in Black. Yeah. yeah. Which, unfortunately, I never got to see. Right. And he even played in the old town. I, ah. I found out, queuing up outside another club the next day, I see the poster, like, you know. Ah. But, uh, <laughs> I have heard of this the stuff, and you can clock a bit on, on YouTube, yes. etc. And it, was, it is very, very good. Um, far best than a lot of the stuff that has come and gone since, oh, yeah. you know. Well, yeah. Uh, but there's no plans to sort of keep that sort of thing going or anything. No, uh, he, I, I, now I haven't spoken to Jake, I haven't seen, I haven't seen Jake Burns since 1994. Uh, and I, well I suppose the thing to say is how I started doing this, but yeah, for sure, yeah. that will move it yeah. on better, yeah. is that I was sitting at home and I got a phone call from the guy that was, is the agent for the Damned, and he said to me, would you uh, ever think of going out as a solo thing, doing some of your SLF stuff, putting mm -hmm. some stuff together? And I said, yeah, I wouldn't be interested. And he said, you need to think about it. He said, I, I was thinking of put, putting you on with Damned. And I thought, and what year, what sort of year is this? Well, this would have been end of 2008, start of 2009. Yeah. And I said, well, and he called me, he said, think about it, and I think he called me back three months later and said, look, I think people would enjoy it. Mm -hmm. um, and the Damned are going out on tour in June, so it was the Damned and the Alarm, and he said, I would love to put them on. Yeah, yeah. And I said, well, let me see, and I sat and worked out the stuff, and I thought, I don't want to go up there and just do, you know, here's whatever song it is, and play through it exactly the way it was. And I thought, but how do you do it different? And he said, he had talked about a solo acoustic tour. And I, and I knew Jake had done that, that acoustic stuff. And I mm -hmm. thought, now, the way I want to do it won't sound right on an acoustic, because I just can't put in it what I want to put into it. Yeah. So, I mean, the bit you heard in the sounds like I, I got this guitar and had it uh, butchered so that I can play the electric and, and play both at the same time. And when we went on the Dom tour, oh, first gig we ever did, people were going mad. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, that's just so nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, a good mix, actually, the Dom Dom the Alarm is a, is a good it mix. Was, it was a good tour. Up, yeah. And then um, doing that whole thing, I, th I think it was about nine gigs, but the people just loved it. Mm -hmm. And um, the idea was, okay, we'll keep this going. Uh, the only problem was that the agent for the Don was setting, was in the middle of setting up a solo tour for me and then he got, something happened and he got sidetracked, Does not, I don't even know, but I got another agent and he booked a solo, <laughs> he booked a tour, my first solo tour for last December in Britain, which was not a good time to go on tour. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> words went with that for 30 years. And I'm in the middle of it, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I remember playing here in New York and it was like, <laughs> we do it. Um, Gordy was driving, I mean, we were driving through snow and digging the car out every day, and it was like, nobody would show up, and I don't blame them, I wouldn't yeah. show up if I didn't have to. Um, but, what makes something like that good is, obviously you can only entertain the people that show up, mm -hmm. but if you can do that, that's yeah. a success. Yeah. Yeah. You can say, you know, there was only so many people, but they enjoyed the well, themselves. Yeah. Uh, this time around I thought, okay, we've done it right, well, we've got the right time of year, and people are saying, it's rebellion time, so there's going to be nobody coming. Yeah. And it's like, why can yeah, I not get a break? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and at the end of the day, we've done five, five gigs, I think, and some of them have been good, some of them have been few people, but it doesn't matter. If you still have people at the end saying, we really enjoyed that, mm -hmm. or, um, 
would people come up in London and say, you know, we saw Sting with Fingers a couple of weeks ago, we really enjoyed it, but this was better. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that, that's not for, for me to say, well, I'm bad on Sting with Fingers, or blah, 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 but it's nice to hear. Mm -hmm. um, One of the biggest differences that I find of that, that look on YouTube and mm -hmm. some of the footage that I've done, there's a lot more personality in your acts now than the stiff little thing this ever was or still is today. It's a very uh, stand up and do it sort of situation. It, it became that, yes. It, it definitely did become that. Um, and the way I thought of doing this was, look, I want to play, play the songs with, and still enjoy and mean with the same things, but not be a hundred percent serious. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go out there. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to go yeah. out there and go, here's one from the thing album and yeah. plus to it. Yeah. You know, I don't I don't want to be on the Jews Holland show and pretend I'm some serious musician. You know? It's one that really pisses me off. I, yeah. and, and it's it's like no, we'll go out first tour I did was totally solo, then Gordy the, the drummer came with me and we, we did it, guitar and drums. And that's the way it stayed. And it, to be honest with you, it's great. And you're having a good time. Oh, yeah. Um, you're playing songs that, were, that came out over 30 years ago. Yeah. It's, and it's people still, still four listening. Decades it was a long yeah. time. Um, and the, the fact that people still want to hear it, and the fact that they're coming to see me doing it and saying, we really enjoy that. Comparisons aside, because comparisons are very personal. Yeah. yeah. But anybody that comes to dance says, we really enjoy that. You go, mm -hmm. I think, great. Should there be seven hundred or seven people if they enjoy it? Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, and it it doesn't feel the way it felt in the late eighties, mm -hmm. early nineties with Stephen Fingers. It wasn't. I don't feel that it's almost like I'm pretending. I think then it was that we're pretending to be Stephen Fingers. Yeah, we're using the name because it is a name. Mm -hmm. um, Do you find that? Uh, that the stuff of things tag is sort of helpful or an interest. No, it's, it's, it's helpful. It really <coughs> is, because at the end of the day, people will, um, even some papers and things will say, Henry's out doing this again, and he's every right to do it because he was a big part of that band. I, one of the reasons why I was reluctant a couple of years ago was because I thought, but I'm not stiff little fingers, and blah, blah, blah. But the way I looked at it, and this is, this is where it gets controversial, nor are they. No, <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm honest, the slip little fingers of the band disappeared a long, long oh, time, time ago. Yeah. I mean, they're going to what box me by it is, they're going to South America, I think, next month. Um, the, their guitar player's not there, Ali McMorty's not there, yeah. Yeah. they got the drummer, it's Jake and three other guys, yeah. and I thought, you're going to sell tickets to people and call yourself slip little fingers. Yeah. Yeah. I could never do that, could never do it. And at the end of the day, I think that's that reflects bottom on the name. I, I, I do myself. Uh, I mean, stiff little things aren't the only band that does that. Oh, you know? of course not. And, and nine times out of ten, you go and see some, you know, some of these bands, and, and there's one, one guy person. in the band, usually the lead singer carrying it on. You know, uh, it does. I mean, I, I understand that, and I can see. To, to try to claim it's anything but a money making exercise is nonsense. Plus a career, isn't it? Of course that's, it is. it's, that's how it seems to me as an outsider when I look at stuff like this. Well, and, I, and you look at all these bands that are playing this sort of circuit that they were talking about. Um, you, you know, the UK subs, blah, blah, blah. The UK subs, Charlie Harper and three other guys, yeah. probably half his age. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, there's peace obviously playing on the, the fact that it's a UK subs name. And if people enjoy it, the one thing I always want to get through, if people go to see the band called themselves, I, I always call them the band called themselves, the little fingers, the artists formerly known as, yeah. um, and go and see it and enjoy themselves, great, mm -hmm. great, I, I have no problem with that. Um, but uh, uh, we had a book come out called Kicking Up a Racket, right? Just yeah. Kicking Up a Racket. Mm -hmm. and, uh, goes into everything and the, in the intro, we all did a, an intro piece and that's it, look, go and see the band now, but just remember, you, I wish you had a seen when it was a real thing. It's funny that you mentioned UK Subs, because I think out of all the bands, UK Subs are the only ones who's pulled it off. They're, they're really good, yeah, and uh, they've still got, the guy's how old? 27? You know, I mean, he, he was an old man when I was oh, first, yeah. you know, but the energy that the guy's got and the, and the band, but I think that the, 
biggest keys to their success is that they're in the crowd with the people. Oh yeah. No yeah. separate. Well, there's stuff like fingers, eyeballs. Well, even though you do you used to do the after show thing, you know, it's still separate. It, yeah, it's an us, us and you sort yeah. of situation. I've talked to people in like nine nine nine, uh, yeah, UK subs, etc., and they've mentioned uh, when you've done shows and you've always been sort of separate from the punk band, yeah, then, you yeah. know, and it rubs off, you know, and I think that's where the UK subs have been particularly successful. I did a gig on the solo tour in December. Did a gig with them up in Gates here. Gates here. Great, great yeah. fun. Yeah, and I mean, I, I think to be honest with you. Charlie doesn't take it seriously either. No, no. I mean, no. He's, he's out there doing his stuff, but it, yeah. I mean, he, he knows that he's 67 and he's still doing his big stuff. Yeah. And yeah. He, you can tell he's enjoying and it. And he'll play the three of three Of course he will. Of course he will. We played in London and, like I said, really small crowd of people, but they said that UK soldiers were the, like the week before and they played, was it five? Five, yeah. 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 Well, so that's awesome. You know, five people is five people. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's, what sort of plans now? You've well, once this one ends, I really next time I go out on tour, I'm gonna to make sure there's no snow and no rain. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to obviously keep doing this. I have an album recorded which is on iTunes. Okay. But what I found, look, people kept asking me for the CD, and I was like, I deliberately didn't make a CD. Yeah, yeah. Now people are saying, "Where's the CD?" Uh -huh. So I'll, I want to next time I come back, I want to talk to the right people. Do it the right time because one of the other problems we have had is people will come up to us like you did earlier and they'll say something like, Oh, there's a club around the corner which would have been perfect. Everybody yeah. goes there. Mm -hmm. We're like a hundred yards away playing to the, like nobody. So this is literally finding your feet again. Oh, of course it is. I mean, it, it's starting off from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And um, Stiff Little Fingers used to play to three people. Yeah. And it, it's like if, if you get a crowd, great, that's a bonus. If you don't, it doesn't matter. Because one of the problems that we've had on the two tours is people come up to me and say, we didn't know what you were doing. Mm -hmm. And then people would say, we thought it was acoustic and thought that it's not gonna work, but it's not. And that's my fault yeah. in letting people know what you're doing.